All right, just a little tail end episode to top off the other one. There was no one at my door. Uh, someone was knocking upstairs. So here's the thing. Certain gremlins have certain items. Um, so you want to wait for them to use the item on you and then use the magnet to take it. Um, here we are. Whips out a hammer. You're not sure from where. That's your cue to use the magnet. You, ha you can only use the magnet when they use the item. If you just use it willy-nilly, uh, it won't do anything. And I think it prevents it from use it prevents them from using it on their next turn. And so you, if if you're fighting a gremlin that has the item, you don't want to kill it until it uses the item. Wow, I am on fire because each area also has a version of the monster that does not have the item. Wow, wow. We're we are going. We're we're going for distance. We're going for speed. All right. All right. Let's try to use the tattered scrap of paper. Woo! Damn it! It didn't work out so well. Here we are. A vegetable gremlin. Those of you who are familiar with the Gremlins franchise of movies will uh, will recognize these these various gremlin-based monsters. Reference humor. Yes. Now Yosarian will be able to build vehicles for the hippie faction. But the question is, can I reach the frat house before I run out of adventures? I can't. Uh, I can't. Go, uh, I can't defeat the final boss in time. But can I finish this quest in time? And then I can leave things on a dramatic ending. All I need to do is just get there. Just, just gotta do it. Okay, I have 17 adventures. Let's just crunch the numbers on this one. Nice spelling, bucko. All right. Is 17 divided by 32 less than 17? It is not. Math, you make everything that's cool not cool. Damn it. Hmm. Is there anything that I can do to give myself just a few more turns? Any any spleen items? Anything at all? Nope. Thanks, Shovel Knight. You tried. Uh, oh well. I'll just have to beat up some some hit some frat boys. Keg Rider. Delete five hundred. As in Fortune 500. I also used all of my good nightcaps. All the booze with really high uh, drunkenness and really high adventure yield, which you can use at the end of the day to get more turns on the following day. Wait a minute. Oh, I have that borrowed time. But it won't be enough. There's no point in using it. I'd need five more adventures to get through this area. And then, hey, it's Brutus, the choker clad lout, and it's Wreath of Laurels. Nice. Ah, oh, crap. So, if I did use the borrowed time, I need five turns to defeat the enemies here. Then, because I don't have the dungeon malware, I would need to um, go through, uh, not the daily dungeon, but the game informed daily, the game informed dungeon pro thing. I need to do that. And then I need to get a pixel key by exploring the 8-bit realm, and then I need to get a star key by going to the hole in the sky, so... I'm crunching the numbers, and no matter how I look at it, there just isn't enough time in the day. I'm gonna cast my eau de booze, drink a perfect mimosa, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the stunning conclusion to Let's Play Kingdom of Loathing. Alright. That's probably not so stunning, but it's gonna be fun. Um... Well, there's lots of fun stuff ahead. Alright. Um, lots of lots of clever systems and um, stuff that makes a lot more sense. Until then, till then, everyone. Good night.